Uh, well, this is my YouTube uh, video of the Garmin 265 WT. This is my second uh, GPS. First was a Mio Move 200, which had a smaller screen, but has served me well since September of 08. It's now May of 09. Neo Move uh, is a the 200 is a great navigator. It started to go on the blink for me, and that prompted me to look into other GPSs. But uh, what I realized was I just needed to reset the unit and keep it at a full charge when using it without the power plug, and the touch pad worked fine afterwards. Of course, the Neo Move does not have the free traffic reporting as the Garmin does. Here's the traffic control icon right over here. Show a traffic map. Doesn't have the blue. Eight miles. Take exit 15 and ride to Myrtle Road. Here's a overview of the, the route. Taking us to the local Walmart. Doesn't have the Bluetooth, doesn't have the free lifetime traffic reporting that the Garmin 265 WT does. However, the Mio Move gives you Take exit 15, right to normal distance to go and a very accurate, surprisingly accurate. Uh, estimated time of arrival. I can't say the same for the Garmin, but it navigates very nicely. It won't necessarily direct you to a U-turn, whereas a move will, but this is probably safer by having you go around the block or a little bit out of your way if you miss your turn. What I like about two miles, then turn left on Nordahl Road. Okay, one tenth of a mile turning left here on Nordahl Road. Sorry about that. Turn left on Nordahl Road, then turn left. Nice uh, map display. It's really excellent if you use the category search under uh, points of interest. Category search comes up with comes up automatically with different categories. Uh, if you press a button for say shopping, it will show you all the shopping that they've listed in the area, entertainment, attractions, things like that. That's great. The disappointment though in this unit and it has the latest 2009 software is that if you do a search for a point of interest by the name of the point of interest sometimes it takes a long time for it to come up with that point of interest and on a number of occasions it's only come up with for instance a smart and final not my local one but 120 miles away However, I like the display. I like the fact that it navigates pretty well. Uh, and the touchpad makes this so much more user-friendly than the Mio Move. However, if... It should have prompted me to go left here. Turn left on Monte Hill Road. Then turn left. If traffic reporting is not very important, for you or use of a Bluetooth, you might be better off with the far less expensive Mio Move, which I believe you can get for, well, I paid $129 for mine on at uh, Radio Shack on sale back in September of 08. I've seen them as low as $100 brand new with the warranty on eBay recently. 
this uh, 265WT was about $222, including shipping, which was free on Amazon.com. I think I'll keep it.